Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Let's talk about Da Yung the Yangshuanosaurus Shangyuensis. Yangshuanosaurus Shangyuensis is a well known carnivorous dinosaur that belongs to a taxon called Metriacanthosauridae. The neural spines on the back of Metriacanthosaurids were of intermediate length, shorter than Acrocanthosaurus but taller than general dinosaurs. Yangshuanosaurus Shangyuensis has the most complete skull fossil in this group. Its skull was preserved quite intact, only about 80 centimeters. Except for the missing tail, the fossils of its entire body are also intact, which shows its skull accounts for a relatively small proportion of the body. Its neck looked slightly longer than its head, so this dinosaur's head was more flexible. According to the restoration, you can see that its head is thicker and square, with an arc on the top, and the entire head is like a semicircle which is quite special among dinosaurs. Its skull is not as elongated as that of many dinosaurs, and looks more stocky. Its body was also relatively long, quite different from the Synraptor we introduced before. Synraptor herpingensis, which lived pretty close to Yangchuanosaurus shangyuensis, was mistaken for a Yangchuanosaurus when it was first discovered. However, we now believe it is closer to Synraptor found in Xinjiang, its body proportions were utterly different from that of Synraptor herpingensis, which had a longer neck, a shorter torso, a skinny tail, and was more compact. Yangshuanosaurus shangyuensis had a relatively shorter neck and a longer torso. According to its pelvis fossil, we can infer that its abdomen was not big but cylindrical. The overall look was a bit like a Megalosaurus or a Torvosaurus, but it was still thicker than these dinosaurs. Its forelimbs are entirely absent, so we speculated the size of its forelimbs based on the relatively well-preserved forelimbs of Sichuanosaurus in the Sichuan Basin. The front claws of this dinosaur were not small. They were large front claws with three well-developed fingers. The claws on its forelimbs were quite sharp. When it was alive, these claws had longer keratinous sheaths that provided flexibility. Like cat claws, a bone was inside, and more extended claws grew along the bones, making this dinosaur's claws stronger and more lethal. About its head, we restored it with lips this time. When it opened its mouth, you could only see its upper teeth from this angle, which were almost invisible from the outside. Whether dinosaurs had lips has always been controversial. We speculated that this dinosaur had lips because its skull fossils were relatively well preserved. Its skull shows a characteristic that when its mouth is completely closed, the lower jaw appears curved, the upper jaw is relatively straight, and there is a hollow structure between the upper and lower teeth, which is somewhat similar to a lizard. However, we are not sure whether the fossil skull had such an effect due to deformation. The inside of this skull was not cleaned out during the cleaning process. We don't know much about its interior, and we just restored it according to the current situation of the skull. When doing this kind of restoration, you can see that the upper teeth only have quite a short part exposed, and the lower teeth may have a longer part exposed. Because its skull was relatively large, its lower lip would be drooped a bit so that part of the gums of the lower jaw could be exposed under normal conditions. Then, when the mouth was closed, its upper teeth could be easily inserted into the lower jaw. This dinosaur had a very complex, wavy keratinous structure on top of its skull. Based on the size of the eye sockets on its skull, we can infer that this dinosaur had tiny eyes. We currently don't know much about its skin, so we use the general restoration method of carnivorous dinosaurs, making small scales mixed with some larger ones. On its back, we reconstructed a row of iguana-like spines. Because the top of the neural spines on the dorsal vertebrae of Yangchuanosaurus shangyuensis were relatively rough, some scholars believe that this dinosaur may have been connected to structures similar to this when it was alive. The legs of Yangchuanosaurus shangyuensis were not well preserved, and only the upper part has been preserved. We can calculate the overall look of its legs based on the proportions of general dinosaurs, that is, the thigh is approximately equal to the calf, and the calf is roughly equivalent to the length of two metatarsals. Compared to its relatively long body, its legs were not long, but this did not affect its running ability. Its long tail was almost as long as its front body, which acted as a balance. 
Good, the above concludes our introduction to Da Yun the Yangchuan Asaurus Shangyuensis. Thank you all.